Hey guys, Tim for MVP Machine. I uh, brought the propane tank wood stove into the shop um, probably early January to repaint it and uh, just see how everything held up. And then I decided on uh, doing about five different upgrades and uh, wanted to show you A, how this thing held up, what worked, what didn't, and uh, B, what upgrades I'm putting on it. And uh, We'll start with the, the tank itself. Um, it held up incredibly well, in my opinion, because I don't see really any signs of uh, of any wear or any problems in there, um, inside and outside. Basically, held up really well. The pock marks in the sides of it um, were on there when I started the project. It was not a brand new tank. So it actually looks surprisingly good. Um, what did not hold up was the stainless steel grate. To the right, we have the old one, which was made out of quarter inch material going across and a half inch going down. And you can see what happened with that. The heat kind of destroyed it. So <clears throat> we've upgraded that to um, 5 eighths going down and 5 sixteenths going across and TIG welded at every joint and hopefully that should hold up. Um, that's I guess upgrade number one. Upgrade number two, um, there was never any wheels on this and to move this thing around when it's hot you'd have to have two uh, welding gloves on and it kind of became a hassle. I use it as a patio heater mainly and if you use it in the morning and then want to move it out of the way once the sun starts getting hot it's a real hassle so added some wheels. The wheels are removable um, <clears throat> with this bolt right here that will come off and there's just a D-shaped hole that that plugs into so and then <clears throat> the wheels basically are no good unless you have a handle if the thing is hot. So I made a handle with basically 3 8 stainless. Um, and then there's an aluminum insert inside this piece of wooden dowel. I think it's an inch and a eighth or inch and a quarter wooden dowel. <clears throat> and that has a notch right here that will be able to lock in right there with it. It's like a deadbolt. And this assembly just basically slides in and then you push the lock to engage that slot and then you can wheel it around. Now that's not intended to be left in it while, while it's running but it can be stored once it's a little cooler in the unit so um, so that's upgrade number two upgrade number three um, I bought this heat powered fan that goes on the flue pipe assembly but from the manufacturer came with a different mount I made this one um, <clears throat> from the manufacturer it goes on there with like a big hose clamp and you don't want to leave these out in the rain, so I'm using mine as a patio heater, planning to be easily and quickly removable. <clears throat> so I've made this disc to go on the flue pipe and basically set screws on three sides to hold it down, and then it will pin into place whatever direction we want to point it. It'll pin in there so it's easily removable. So the next upgrade, we touched on this in the first video, um, and it had a few issues, and it still does. Um, this is the topper for the flue pipes, and basically it has a little fan that's heat powered in there. Number one, the fan is a problem because it's aluminum, and 
the issue that I had with it was that it would basically just melt the weld and drop the fan off. And trying to find a stainless steel three and a half inch uh, fan, which is what's required, I have had no luck. So if anybody knows, please leave a comment below. Um, I just need a, a stainless fan similar to this. Um, so this is still a work in progress. Um, eventually, which should happen in the next week or so, this will get a spark arrestor that's going to go around here, which is this material here. That's going to be rolled and then TIG welded onto the inner side of this. So it will fit down over there and then this cap will go on top. And that also gets welded onto this bolt. So it'll be just a thread and assembly. And another upgrade, I didn't have a way to lock this thing to anything, so I added a tab to lock it. Um, basically run a chain through it. Because it's relatively easy to steal if somebody wanted to. If you took it camping or something, um, you kind of would want the ability to lock it down. Um, another thing that did not work well was the rope seal that goes on the door and <clears throat> basically what happened was because of the rain and the amount of times you open and close it I use this a, a lot um, it's probably had 300 fires in the two years of its existence if not more and the rope seal just did not work but I actually like it better without the rope seal so that's being left out and the other thing that didn't work extremely well for me was <clears throat> the secondary combustion burner, which is inside the tank here. It does work, but uh, I had thought about cutting it out um, while I had it apart, but decided to leave it in. This would work much better in an indoor environment. So if I ever use this like in a garage or something, um, that's where it would be become more useful. But outdoors, um it's just not very effective and i think that's about it for the upgrades um gonna get everything repainted and we're gonna get uh <clears throat> i have a little more polishing to do and we'll get it back up to the house and show you all the new upgrades and how it works Hey guys, um, got it back at the house now. Everything's painted and assembled. Um, everything seems to fit real nice. Uh, have the flue pipe assembly installed with the new spark arrestor up top. Um, had a friend of mine <coughs> roll and weld that. TIG welded it from the inside. Came out beautiful. Thanks, Dave. And the only thing is stainless steel fan. We're going to make our own for it because it seems to be impossible to find. So that probably won't be installed until next week. And I left the aluminum fan out of there because it just drops down the flue pipe when it melts off. Uh, the dual fan assembly fits real good. It basically just fits into these pins. And every, every set of two where there's an arrow. I don't know if you can see the arrow. Yeah, there it is. Um, so you can index that like eight different ways. Wheels work good. It's a nice addition. Handle could have been a little bit longer, but it's still a lot easier to move it around. So that's a good addition. The handle um, made these rods out of stainless steel so that I don't want to leave the handle in it while I'm using it, so I can pull it out and just stick those in the flower pot that's right next door to it when it's not in use, and then put it in when it's needed to move it. Um, everything's ready to go. I don't have the best wood today. I, I ordered some wood, but it's not going to be in for a couple of days, 
So I'm going to cut what I have and fire it up and we'll see what it does. This is all I can come up with uh, for wood. I just had some uh, some end cuts off some big logs. I just split them up. So that's enough for a pretty decent fire for this. So I'm going to get those going and be back in a second. Okay, it's up and running. Got a little bit of kindling and some lighter fluid at the top. And uh, usually do a top down fire in this. It works pretty good. And we'll see how long it takes to get the flue pipe fan going and also I have this other fan that sits on the top and that works real well you'd be surprised they don't really uh, blow very hard but uh, <clears throat> it makes a difference when especially when it's calm outside close that up and let it roast for a few minutes and see how long it takes to get the fans going about three minutes into the fire the top fan started at about one minute it's cruised along pretty good these guys haven't started yet so we'll wait and see how long fire is doing really good right now and we're not getting much in the way of anything for smoke out of the top already so Okay, we're about four minutes in, and these guys are zinging along pretty good. They just started. As I recall from uh, my initial try with these last year, they took a little while longer to get going, um, just because the heat has to travel through the mount to get to a little element, which is right at the end of the mount, that produces electricity from the heat. It's, uh, I think you can see it right there. And the paint is out gassing pretty good off of the outside of the tank and the flue pipe. It's almost done. I'm getting a very clean exhaust. Almost don't even notice it. And we're burning pretty good inside. I'm going to get, uh, I've got a thermal imaging camera, Let's see if we can get some readings off of temperatures off of this thing. I'll just show you the thermal imaging camera I purchased. Um, I'm not being sponsored by this company, but this is a Top Don T-O-P D-O-N thermal imaging camera. And I did a lot of research before buying this, and uh, this one got the best reviews by far and this basically just plugs into the USB port on the bottom of your phone or tablet and I've used it on both the phone and tablet and it works excellent and you can do video um, the video has no audio so or you can take still pictures and uh, <clears throat> we'll show you what that looks like and once we get another fire going here in just a minute okay I just fired it up I'm gonna let it get going a little bit and we'll do some thermal imaging. I uh, did a light coating of coconut oil, which I like to use to season pans. It works real well. I'm hoping, I did that on the stainless top here. I'm hoping it doesn't uh, do anything goofy, but it seems to really do a, a good non-stick coating on like cast iron pans. So we'll see what happens with that. And once this heats up, do some thermal imaging and remember that silent and we'll come back after that
As you can see, we had a, about a constant 400 and some degrees through the whole unit. So um, it's a pretty even heat and it works pretty well. The coconut oil, um, I don't know if it did anything. It didn't change colors, but uh, it may have just burned off. I don't know if it actually did what I wanted it to do, which was season the top. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be working pretty well through what upgrades worked well and what didn't work. Um, first of all, the dual fan assembly, I loved it. Works well. Um, as I showed you before, it basically just pins into this round plate here and can be rotated to, I guess you aim it at whoever, whoever's coldest. Um, that worked excellent and the fan assembly worked well. The spark arrestor up top is another welcome addition. Uh, any sparks that come out of it are very short lived. So that's doing its job and I never had anything up there in the last two years that I've been using it. So that worked real well. The wheels. The wheels work excellent. I'm able to move it around. But which did not work was the handle assembly. Um, it's too short and it's just very awkward to move. So that's going to be eliminated and I can found out I can just use the flue pipe which is 4 inch um, 16th inch wall stainless um, so it's pretty rigid assembly I can just use the flue pipe to move, move it and if it's hot I'll just put on some of gloves um, and that moves it just fine the upgraded grate for holding the logs worked very well there's no warp to it, so that'll do its job. I haven't cleaned this out, which I'm going to do in just a second here. To clean it out, um, basically I just use one of these roast pans and put it under it, pull out the grate, pull out the ash removal tray, and just use my hand to put everything into the tray. Just takes a matter of seconds and and it's ready to go for another fire. And the other upgrade that uh, was the locking lug. I'm sure that's going to work fine. No need to review that. Here's what's become of the handle. It's now a hose rack for the pool hose on the back of the deck. I've got another fire going. I moved it over to the fire pit area. Um, Sometimes the fire pit is just a little too much uh, and it consumes a lot of wood so it's not that cold tonight, probably about 64 degrees and it really helps to keep the mosquitoes away uh, for some reason. But uh, I did install the aluminum fan up at the top and it seems to be working quite well. I don't know if you can hear it, it's a little loud, but the door kind of acts as a throttle, and you can hear the speed of the fan kick up when you open the door, and it's been getting quieter and quieter, I think the, the bearing that I made, or bearings that I made for it, are kind of wearing in. Originally, um, I only had a four foot segment of the flue pipe uh, about where that clamp is, was where the top went, and that's, I believe, why it was melting the fans, and <clears throat> I think that extra four feet is really helping. 
so that's working good and these fans are working really well it's actually too hot out here um, I want to thank you guys for watching the video and we need about uh, a couple hundred more subscribers so I'd appreciate it if you like this type of video if you would subscribe and please feel free to leave a comment that helps too and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video